gradients, this is m squared, and we're going to solve some inequalities using common logarithms. So remember when we do that, when we have some number raised to a power and it's greater than 7, and 2 cannot be written as a 2 to some power cannot be written, um, well, 2 to an integer power, I should say. Can't, you can't get that to be 7. 2 to, we know 2 to the third is 8, so we know that this is going to be less than 3. We use logs to solve this, so we take the log of both sides, similar to as when you were solving linear equations, you'd add or subtract a number from both sides to both sides, or multiply and divide by both sides. So we're going to do that. We're going to take the log of both sides, so we get the log of 2 to the x is greater than the log of 7. And when we do that, we use our um, properties. When we have an exponent up here, we can move it down in front, so we get 2 log, I'm sorry, x log 2 is greater than the log of 7, and if our goal is to get x alone, we divide by whatever is being multiplied by that. So we divide by the log of 2, so we get x is greater than the log of 7 divided by the log of 2. So in our calculator, we take the log of 7 and divide it by the log of 2. If you have a calculator like this, remember to end that parenthesis after that first log, or you'll get the wrong answer. We expected it to be less than 3 because we knew 2 to the third was 8. So 2.8074. So x needs to be greater than 2.8074 in order for 2 to the x to be greater than 7. Okay, on to the next one. It's a binomial up on top. So when we bring that down, we have to remember to distribute. So we get the log of 11 to the x plus 4 is greater than the log of 57. So we use our properties to bring the x plus 4 in front. And then we'll use our distributive property. So x times the log of 11 is x log 11. 4 times the log of 11 is 4 log 11. And that has to be greater than the log of 57. Now, remember our goal is to get x alone. So we have to get rid of this first. We have to minus 4 log of 11 to both sides. Then we're going to end up dividing by that. So we get x log 11 is greater than the log of 57 minus 4 log 11, because I'm minusing this to both sides. And then I'm going to have to divide to get x alone, so I'm going to divide by the log of 11. And then x would be alone, so x is greater than all of that, so let's figure out what that is. So um, if you wanted to do it all at once in your calculator, you could, you just have to be really careful with parentheses. So you're going to say parenthesis, because that's the top of the fraction, log 57, and that parenthesis for that log, minus 4 times the log of 11, end of the parenthesis for the log of 11, and then end the parenthesis for the numerator, then divide by the log of 11. And you get a negative 2.3139. And we know that x to the first power is 11. I mean, 11 to the first power is 11, and 11 to the second power is 121. So we expect this expression to be between 1 and 2. And if we subtract a negative 2 point something from that, we will get that. So you could check it if you wanted to, but that's what we expect it to be if we do that little guesswork ahead of time. So now let's do this. We're going to take, again, the log of both sides. We're going to say, and we're going to bring that in front. We're going to say 3y minus 1, because that's our of one of our log properties. If you take the log and it has some power up here, you can bring it down in front, is less than 2y plus 4 times the log of 2. And then we have to use our distributive property. So 3y times the log of 7 minus the log of 7 when we distribute the left side, and 2y log 2 plus 4 log 2 on the right side. We need to get all the y's on one side, so our goal is to solve for y. We have a y on the left and the right, so I need to minus 2y, oh, I didn't put my log 2 there. I mean, need to minus 2y log 2 to both sides, and I need to add log of 7 to both sides. And then I simplify those, cancel, and we get 3y log 7 minus 2y log 2 is less than 4 log 2 plus log 7. Now, on this side, to get y alone, I have to factor out a y. So, factoring, 
the greatest common factor of, I get 3 log 7 minus 2. And I forgot the log again. What was that? 2 log 2. There. And so then, in order to get y alone, I would divide by whatever is being multiplied by that. So although that looks kind of messy, we need to do it because then it cancels here and then I divide it over here. And instead of writing that down again, I'm just using the one from before. So this becomes what y is less than. So then I need to figure that out. And you can do it in steps too. We'll do it in steps. We'll do the numerator first on this one. We'll say 4 log 2 plus log 7. And that is 2.049218. And then we'll say 3 log 7 minus 2 log 2. And that is 1.933234. Then we'll divide. So 2.049218 divided by 1.933234 gets me 1.059, well, 99, so I better go back again and just say this, since we're rounding to the, that fourth decimal, decimal place out. And that should be the answer. And so it gets, it's really messy. Um, you need to be really careful with your signs, your parentheses. It looks awful, doesn't it? But it's not that bad. It's just adding, subtracting, and multiplying and dividing, and you can definitely do that. And this is M squared, signing out.